Welcome back. It's time for another book talk video. Today for Fiction Friday, I'm doing a ranking actors video for Lonesome Dove. The characters Gus and Call. I want to thank Emrita by the book for inspiring my ranking actors series. You can go check out her channel. She's one of my good booktube buddies. Oh my goodness, she's made some good videos ranking actors. Her one about Mr. Darcy was great. The one about the actress who played Poirot from the Agatha Christie novels was great. I suggest you go check them out. In this video, I'm going to do a top three actors for Gus and a top five actors for Call because that's how many actors there are. These characters are from the Lonesome Dove saga, which has four novels written and they have been turned into miniseries. And then there have been additional shows, spinoffs made from those as well. So we've got the 1989 Lonesome Dove miniseries, the original based on the original novel. It had Robert Duvall as Gus and Tommy Lee Jones as Call. I'm doing these in order of release. I'm not ranking them yet. In 1993, we got the Return to Lonesome Dove miniseries. No Gus in there. It was a spinoff series, unauthorized. It had John Voight as Captain Call. Interestingly, he was a bounty hunter in the spinoff show. And then in 1995, we got The Streets of Laredo, based on the book, in which, again, there's no Gus. We had James Garner play Call, as a bounty hunter. So at least both sequels had the idea, the vision, that Captain Call would be a bounty hunter, even if not everything else lined up in them. In 1996, we got a prequel. Very powerful story that went back to when Gus and Call first joined the Texas Rangers. In that story, we had David Arquette play Gus and Johnny Lee Miller as Call. And then there was a big break in the series in the sense of they didn't make them again until 2008. And then we got Command she moon the prequel sequel it's the sequel to dead man's walk but still a prequel to lonesome dove and the streets of laredo in comanche moon steve zahn played gus and carl urban played call so those are all the actors we're dealing with go ahead and get an idea in your mind if you're familiar with the books and or the miniseries which actors you like the most which ones you like the least what you might have thought was some weird casting and now i'm gonna give you gus with the top three though i should give you a disclaimer that really these comparisons are tough because it's not as if we're looking at different adaptations of Pride and Prejudice or something to that effect, where it's different actors who play the exact same character from the exact same story. Here we have the characters being played from different novels or spinoffs, and we have them at different age ranges. So the characters do change over time, but I still think it's fun. It's a worthwhile endeavor. So the, my top three for Gus, ranking the actors. In third place, I'm putting David Arquette as the young Gus in Dead Man's Walk. He was a funny character, so I can somewhat understand the casting of David Arquette. I just feel like David Arquette does not have the strong acting powers of a Robert Duvall, who originally played the character. So at first, I was a little concerned about it. It still worked out. It was okay for the story, but... I wish they would have found a, a better actor for that one. In second place, I'm putting Steve Zahn from Comanche Moon. I was really shocked that the goofy actor Steve Zahn really did an amazing job successfully channeling the power of Robert Duvall in this story. And I guess it's already obvious who my number one pick is. The best actor to ever play Gus from Lonesome Dove. The original Robert Duvall. Such a deeply emotional acting performance performance, mostly focused on a lot of non-verbal expressions, a lot of pauses, the way his tone of voice worked for the sarcasm, the sassiness, the humor. Very powerful. You can tell that the character really cares about other people, even when he's saying things that make it sound like he doesn't. And I like that kind of subtlety. I like the way that those acting performances come across. It's really one of the best acting performances you're going to find ever. And going on record as saying that. That brings us to our top five ranking for Call. And of course, he gets five because there have been five actors who played him. With no further ado, in last place, the fifth place ranking, John Voight playing Captain Call in a story that wasn't even based on the novels and returned to Lonesome Dove. I'm not sure what happened. I don't know if it was the way the directors were trying to get John Voight to act in that series, but he's unlike any other performance I've ever seen from John Voight. It, it's bad. It, he he just kind of stands there and tries to look serious, I think. <sighs> 
I guess they told him that Captain Call was the serious, quiet type. And I feel, I don't know, I feel like John Voight could have done a better job in that role. Then we get to fourth place. I'm putting Johnny Lee Miller as young Call. Don't get upset with me. But in Dead Man's Walk, I felt like they didn't use Johnny Lee Miller as well as they could have. He's a talented actor, great charisma on the screen, but they cast an actor with great charisma to play a strong, silent type. And so, if you weren't familiar with the novels, you might watch the miniseries and think that he's not supposed to be one of the main characters because there are other actors stealing the show, doing a great job in the scenes, while he kind of stands there a lot of the time, unfortunately. In third place for my rankings, I'm putting Carl Urban from Comanche Moon. Carl Urban is always great in everything that he acts in. The only reason he's not getting ranked higher up in this list is because of the two people and the power that they have who end up in those spots. So I did think that Carl Urban did a nice job, even though once again, he's supposed to be a strong silent type. In second place, I'm putting the original call from Lonesome Dove, Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones did a magnificent job in this role. His hair was all grayed out, got the cowboy hat on. He looks kind of grumpy all the time. My only issue with the performance, which was amazing and very powerful, and I greatly respected, was just that the character didn't get moments of levity, I felt. He, he was mostly kind of serious, grumpy, coming across kind of angry for most of it. And that, of course, means that in first place, you've probably already figured it out. I'm biased. I'm going to admit the biased. I'm a huge fan of Maverick. I love James Garner's performances. James Garner, my top-ranked actor for Captain Call, he played Call in Streets of Laredo, which is a story in which he's really feeling by himself. There are younger people who come and try and work with him, but they don't understand him. They're not on his level. He misses his friend Gus. He misses the old gang. And this performance allows you to see the emotions that Captain Call has been holding inside himself finally flowing out. As yes, he's somewhat serious and grumpy, but he's doing it in a playful, sarcastic sort of way that only James Garner can deliver. I mean, no matter what role James Garner plays, he's going to sound sarcastic. And I thought that was great because Captain Call at that point in his life has incorporated a sense of Gus and who Gus was as a part of himself. And it comes across so well. But also, the character suffers. I won't give you spoilers, but there's a lot of suffering in the story also. So there's a nice range of emotion with the playful, sarcastic elements, as well as the really serious loneliness and the pain, including the physical pain that he endures. And then the ending of the saga at the end of Streets of Laredo, where Captain Call ends up in his life, who he ends up around himself, what he decides to do with what he has left, to me is a really touching element. And James Garner has always been able to play that character who comes across in a roguish sort of way of seeming like he doesn't really care that much, but ultimately proving that he does through his actions. That's my ranking for Gus and Call from Lonesome Dove. Great performances by the actors, really. I highly recommend all of the miniseries and the books whenever you have time to read them or watch them. That's it for today's book talk slash actor ranking video. Every day is a good day to rank actors from book adaptations. Peace.